Victory Power Plant. White flags up. Looks like Meiji is on pole, so this is going to be a barn burner here as we wait for the flag to drop. It does. We're racing, and Meiji gets a cracking start in the bud light, but it looks like Jared Smith with all the power is impulsive. Surges into the lead. Kilver on the outside of him, Adam Smith, and on the outside, Austin McDonald running the wide line as we go up through turn number one for the first time. It's Jared Smith pushing hard. Dave Mead's up the inside. Then it's Adam Smith and back to Andrew Chilvers. Back straight away now. And Smith with the EFI 2.5 Merc probably got the most horsepower on the paddock at the moment. And he's showing it at the moment with this beautiful impulsive boat out of South Australia. Runs a very wide line. Meiji might have a little cheeky look up the inside. I would if I was him. And the uh, Bud Light runs up into second spot. But Smith's going to be hard to catch from here. Plenty of power out of that boat. Then it's a 2.5 litre Optimax on Dave Meiji's Bud Light Racing. Adam Smith and then Andrew Chilver having a look around the outside of uh, him as they fire up into the top turn and unfortunately it looks like we've got a problem here for the AMR with Austin McDonald. He looks like he's a little off the pace, Sam. Yeah, he does uh, very, very slow going past the tower but not slow as Jared Smith. Have a look at him. Too impulsive to South Australian. Showing the way out in front and doing it well. What can Dave Meads do in second place in Bud Lloyd? He's trying hard to get away closer to him. Then Adam Smith, the brother of uh, Jared there in uh, impulsive in uh, third placing. They are the sons I believe of uh, Terry Smith who drove a boat called Alcatraz a hydroplane so why have they gone in uh, in F1's the outboards I don't know because <laughs> uh, outboards are great Sammy that's why so Jared really running some trim actually Dave's, Dave Meads running plenty of trim on that boat as he came down the front straight away trying to extract everything out of it he just hasn't quite got the mumbo to go with Smith at the moment and it looks like Smith a little bit of traffic coming through here as he uh, just comes round uh, up the inside there of Austin McDonald. Yeah, he's certainly doing it well. The boat looks beautiful on the water. It was a former uh, Greg Banks boat, uh, mate, this boat, and former built by Malcolm Camerson of New Zealand, and he campaigned it. So it's a brilliant boat. It's uh, been uh, a lot of success with uh, Jamison and also Banks, and now Jared Smith looks as if he's got the handle on it very well indeed. Yeah, McDonald's got drama there. He's just running the wide line. I'm not really sure why he's continuing on at the moment. Looks like he's well off the pace. Um, you'd probably bring him back into the pits, but maybe he's trying to sort something out in the cockpit. I'm not really sure. So it goes back to Meads, then Adam Smith, then Andrew Chilver rounding out the field now as we come around the bottom turn for the final time. It is going to be Jared Smith out of uh, South Australia. Checkered flag comes out, and he's absolutely clinically torn them apart in this one as Jared Smith takes the win in the impulsive machine Dave Meads he'll come through in for second place very experienced campaigner but probably just not quite the horsepower required to go with that EFI 2.5 on Jared Smith's boat but Meiji brings it through second place third spot a good run there for Adam Smith and in the fourth place Andrew Chilly Chilvers in the more chilly machine only second race meeting for him in that boat, Sammy, so he's doing a nice job. And now McDonald comes through. And that boat actually picked up the pace on the last lap, so not sure uh, 